first of the primaries is the energy gun. It's a short range burst fire and it shoots pretty fast. So let's take a look at that. Here's the energy gun in action. And the blue dot is as far as it will shoot. Second primary weapon is the SMG, submachine gun. It's got a longer range, but a s slower spool up on the shots. Let's take a look at that one, see how it does in combat. That's a lot longer range than the energy gun. It does a good amount of damage, just takes a second to spool up. The third and final primary weapon is the Xeno Rifle. It's got a faster shooting rate and it's got a long range just like the SMG. Let's take a look at that one. And this is the Xeno Rifle. Like I said, it's got a longer range and it's got a faster spin up, spool up than the SMG. But it's just as powerful as the energy gun. Take down some enemies real quick. Show you its effectiveness. You can shoot them from across the screen with this one. It's my favorite. Energy gun's cool, but it's a little too short range for me. Let's look at the secondary weapons. The Devastator is the first one on the list. It's a new addition with the add-ons I just came out with from a house mark. Let's take a look at it. This is the Devastator we're looking at. And it's got a continuous stream of fire. Let's see how it does against the Land Stalker. Nice little boss. Looks like we started it, so let's see how we do. We don't die. Oh! <laughs> Here's our Devastator against the Horde. Come on, let's run. Wipes them out. Next on the secondary weapons list is the Plasma Shotgun. Let's take a look at that one. This is one of the more powerful short range ones. You got a big clip, it's nice. You can take out bunches of tough enemies real fast. Third secondary weapon is the power shot. It's a nice straight shooter and it's got a lot of damage. You just got to make sure you hit on target. Let's take a look at that one. Let's take a look at the power shot. It's a long range straight shooter. Does quite a bit of damage as long as it's on target. Takes out the big enemies real fast. We'll pull one out right here. The fourth and final secondary weapon is the revolver. It's a single shot in one direction, long range. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. The revolver does a lot of damage, just like the power shot. And it doesn't have the beam though. And it's a rapid fire also. Does do a lot of damage, because you have to be on target. Revolver. And now this is the Collapser. It's the first of the heavy weapons. It's a new addition also. And it's a charger, so you have to charge up, and you have to be pointing when you let go of the button to shoot it. So let's take a look at that one. This is the Collapser. You can go ahead and charge it up and see what the damage does. Yep one shot. It's a nice heavy weapon to use. It's a new addition also. You don't have to fully charge it and it still does a good bit of damage. Let's see how many bad guys we can get at once. Oops! 
And it also bounces when it hits things. And that's what happens if you're not pointing in the direction you need to shoot. See how it bounces back though. Hmm. It's a harder to use one, but it does do a lot of damage. And that's the Collapser. Next on the heavy weapons list is the Flamethrower. It's a classic. So let's take a look at that. The Flamethrower is a short range, wide area fire weapon. But it does do quite a bit of damage. Looks like they fight fire with fire. It's got a slow reload time, but it does do quite a bit of damage as long as you're focused on the target. It's good for crowd dispersion, like the shotgun. And also, it's a fan favorite. People love to play with fire. So that's the flamethrower. Third on the list of heavy weapons is the rocket launcher. Launcher is my favorite by far. Uh, it has an explosive damage area. And all the weapons, once you get legendary, will get an added effect on your 12 slaughters. But the launcher is still my favorite. It does heavy damage. You can get five or six rounds in a clip. So let's take a look at that one. We're looking at the launcher. We're going to see some damage here. Nice explosive damage. It's great for big enemies. The bullets fire straight, so that's the trick with it. And it carries low ammo. It's a long reload time, but the damage is worth it overall. The fourth and final heavy weapon is the minigun. It's good if it's got a big clip. It's got a slow re reload time like the rest of the heavy weapons, but it does do a bit of damage. It packs a wallop, especially against bosses and a lot of, a lot of enemies. Plus it sounds cool. Classic spin up ring. That's when you know your barrels are quickly turning to lay down some lead. And you can get them up with big clips and it rips through flesh. Finally, we have equipment. First one we're gonna go over is the boomerang. You can throw it and it comes right back. But if you dodge it and it goes past you, you can make it swirl around the room and take out a lot of enemies. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a big group real quick. Use the boomerang. See how it goes past? As long as you're running in a circle, if you got some dash, it'll keep going. Second on the equipment list is the cluster grenade, my personal favorite. Here's the cluster grenade. We're gonna take out some enemies from afar. Tap the throw button again and it splits into a bunch of pieces. Works really well. Third equipment is the mine. You can place it and if enemies get in proximity, you can use that on them. We're using the mine. We're gonna go ahead and lure some enemies out. Boom, got them. And they have three shots on them. So let's lure some more. They will damage you also. Fourth on the equipment list is the remote grenade. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. You throw it and it's just like the cluster except for you just remote detonate, it doesn't split. Taking a look at the remote grenade. Let's get us a bunch of enemies here. There we go. Now, fifth on the equipment list is the vortex grenade. It's a new addition with the new expansions. And what it does is you throw it out and it activates when you detonate it again with the throw button. Which, and then it creates a vortex and sucks the enemies inside of it so you can focus fire to the center of the vortex. And it makes it a lot easier to kill a lot of enemies. Especially, and we're looking at the vortex grenade. Let's get a bigger group of enemies than these little guys. Alrighty. And there you go, that's what it does. Sucks a bunch of enemies in. There you go. Sucks up a whole big group of enemies. No problem. That vortex on the horde again.
Let him get stunned for a second. Ooh. It's a nasty bit.